Hey gang, this week I'm excited to review this Godin radiator with all of you. The good folks at Godin sent me this on loan. Take that for what it's worth, okay? They sent it to me on loan to review and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I'm excited because I often will review things that are a little bit on the inexpensive side. Maybe in some cases even cheap, right? This is not a cheap guitar. This is Godin's regular line of guitars, so I would say it's a professional quality instrument. It's suitable for, you know, rock, blues, R&B, maybe slide guitar. So if you are looking for a single cut that is lightweight, this happens to be a very lightweight guitar and works for rock, blues, R&B, this may be a guitar that interests you. Okay, well let's get two things out of the way. First, the looks. Yeah, you're either gonna love it or you're not gonna love it. Godin is going for a retro look, which is kind of cool. I think this one actually does achieve that. And the other thing is it's in line with the older radiator version or incarnation, and so this kind of keeps in line with that. If you don't like this color, there's two others. There's Bourbon Burst and then there's Matte Black. So if you like the rest of this review, you like the sound and the feel sounds good to you or seems good to you, then maybe you wanna check those out. The other thing that I want to tell you before we get into the review is that this is a chambered guitar. I've grown up playing single cut guitars. I love single cut guitars. I love the design, the scale, everything about them except the weight. This is just over seven pounds. So I could play this all night. The secret is it's a chambered body. All right. And because of that, that means the blues is great on it. So if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to play some blues for you as well. All right, let's get into the review. I'm gonna go over the specs first, then I'm gonna tell you about what I think are some of the special features, and then we are going to do the sound. We'll do the sound of all the pickups on clean and dirty, and then we'll do the bridge pickup on super high gain. Quick rundown of the specs. First, the most important spec to many of you is going to be the price. As of the publishing date of this video, this Canadian-made guitar sells for $6.99 in the U.S. That's U.S. dollars, okay? For that, you get the guitar, plus you also get a, an extremely padded gig bag, a really good gig bag that you could use at a gig, no sweat. All right, let's go over the rest of the basic specs of this guitar. It's pretty typical for a single cut with a couple of exceptions. So we've got two humbuckers, we've got two volume, two tone, We've got a three-way toggle switch. That's all pretty standard stuff. Here's where it's a little bit different. This is a Canadian maple, a silver leaf maple body. It is chambered, so that relieves the weight quite a bit, in fact. We've also got a Canadian silver leaf maple neck, and the fretboard is a rosewood fretboard. So we've got that. Okay, what else about the neck? Well, we've got 22 frets, pretty standard stuff. 12 inch radius, so it's a little bit flatter than Fender. Same as Gibson, right? Should be comfortable for many players. We've got a Graf Tech nut, and we've got tuners on here. I'm gonna get a little ahead of myself. These are some of the best tuners that I've played. 18 to one on the bass side, 26 to one ratio on the treble side makes these extremely smooth. And I don't know what they do to these gears, but this is these are some of the best tuners I've played. Really makes the experience a <laughs> lot, lot nicer. Okay, I think that's the basic rundown of the specs. Let's go over some of the features and take a closer look. All right, now I wanna go a little bit beyond the specs on this and tell you some of the things I think were little touches that I think make this a professional instrument or at least a more special experience. First off, right when I took it out of the box, it just felt really solid, beautiful satin finish. And I have to say, this is one of the most comfortable guitars, and it's not just because of this cut here, which is all the way there, but all sorts of things. The, the size of it, it feels substantial. It's just less than seven and a half pounds, again, because it's chambered. It's light. I could play with this all night. I could stand with this at a gig all night, and it wouldn't kill my back, so that's great. Second thing is super solid, super solid knobs, switches, no noise, Perfect. Great fretwork, no sharp edges, none. No dead spots. Really good, really good fretwork on this. And <laughs> the fretboard on this, one of the more comfortable ones I've played in my career. It's just really nicely rounded. I would expect this on a $1,500 guitar. On a $600 guitar, I'm not, I'm not sure I would expect all of this. 
hold the phone. I just learned from Godin that they use a process that they call ergo cut, where they take the edges of the fretboard and they bevel them toward the center to give it a more comfortable, worn-in feeling. Now, I can't vouch for all of the guitars, but for this one, it's certainly made it very comfortable to play with. Very comfortable neck. Also, I have to say, I'm a sucker for this. Whoever put in this nut, thank you, did a great job on it. It's like, it's a tusk nut. Yeah, that's great, but it's also like really super smooth. So somebody did the finishing work to make it really good. And that makes a difference. That makes a difference in the experience for sure. Let me show you a few other things I think you might find interesting in this. First of all, on the headstock, let's see if I can get that in. There we go. They etched in their logo there or their name, Godam. And you can see that it's a, more, it's a smaller headstock, so the strings go a little bit straighter. That helps for tuning stability. So as much as I love these tuners <laughs> and how smooth they are, they really are smooth, I won't be tuning it all that much because it's not going to be slipping. <laughs> okay. Also, in the back of the neck, I don't know if you can see this so well because it is pretty dark, but it's just a pretty, you know, pretty wood grain and all that. And it really, I think, sets off a trans cream color of the uh, guitar as well. A couple of other little touches that I want to show you about. Oh, it does have a really nice wraparound bridge. You can see it's a wraparound bridge. It's a substantial piece. I have a Gibson Melody Maker. This is a much better bridge than came on that. A couple of other minor things. There's another little, little cool thing where it says radiator etched in the pick guard. I think that's neat. And I don't even know if you can see this, but check out the knobs. There are little indentations on them. Now, this is such a small thing, I almost don't even want to mention it, but little indentations on there. Why? It's to tell you where 10 is. I know it's a small, small thing, but that's, the, that's attention to detail, right? And when I buy a guitar as a luxury good, a higher-end guitar, it's really nice when they do things like that, little things that make a difference, like the, the name of it right there on the pick card. For what it's worth, there we go. All right, now let's give a listen to the sounds of this guitar. Let's see if the sounds are as good as the quality of the build and the feel of this guitar. So for all of these, I'm just gonna use my Blackstar HT5 amp and the guitar. There's never any pedals involved. So for the clean sound, I'm just gonna go clean through the clean channel right to the guitar. All the controls are on 10. The uh, tone and the volume are in 10 for this, okay? Let's check out the clean first. Okay, let's check out the dirty sounds now. Now for this, I'm going to use the lead channel on this, but I'm not gonna use a lot of gain. I'm gonna use a moderate amount of gain, not too much. Okay, we'll go through all the pickup combinations again.
Okay, the last setting that we're going to do is the high gain. Again, I'm going to use the lead channel on this. I'm just going to crank up the gain a little bit more. And I'm just going to use the bridge pickup on this one, okay? This setup is just the bridge because, again, in a high gain setting, I'm probably just going to use it for a solo or for a, a lead or something like that. All right, let's check out the high gain. All right, gang, well, there you go. That's pretty much it. Don't forget the blues at the end that I'm going to play if you want to hear how it sounds with the blues. I think you can tell I like this guitar. I like it quite a bit. Now, if you like the looks of it and you like the sounds of it, I can tell you this is a high quality built guitar from the lightweight, the chambering on this, to the really smooth neck, to the tuners, to the nut and how well it was all put together. This is a high quality instrument. So again, if you like the looks and you like the sound, this may be for you. All right, if you like this, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe and click that bell. And we will see you on down the road after you check out the blues here. Thank mm -hmm. you.